Earlier this month, Augusta State University played host to the annual Insperity Invitational, a 54-hole stroke play event that brought a host of the best NCAA Division I schools and players to the state of Georgia. For coach Josh Gregory, the event was a homecoming of sorts. At the end of 2011, he left his job as ASU head coach to return to Southern Methodist University in Texas, the school that he graduated from in 1997. We caught up with Coach Gregory back in Georgia. This is a special week for me. I told everybody I think I wore sunglasses on the first day because I was afraid I would start tearing up. But I've got two teams I'm pulling for this week. Obviously, we're doing the best we can to, to get SMU going and to play as well as we can. But, I, but I'm pulling for my guys at Augusta State. And I'm still very close with the kids. And I'm still close with Kevin, the, the coach. And I have, owe everything to Augusta State. They're the ones that gave me the opportunity to be a head coach. Augusta's a golf town. Golf means everything here. So you know, college golf, is, it's probably, probably one of the few universities where college golf is, is the biggest sport there. To say that Coach Gregory left a legacy behind is quite an understatement. He built the ASU program into a national power, culminating in back-to-back -back national championships in 2010 and 2011, his final two years in charge. Never dreamed of that in my wildest dreams. I mean, that, that's your goal as a coach, uh, to win one, crazy, to win two, unbelievable, and uh, especially at a place like Augusta State that's a Division II school in all their sports, but a Division I in, in men's and women's golf. Uh, you know, quite honestly, it shouldn't happen, but uh, you know what, I've gotten kids o over the years who kind of come in with that chip on the shoulder mentality. They weren't recruited by a lot of places. They come in and they want to they prove that they should have been. Uh, and if you get kids that can buy in, and it proves you don't have to have private jets, you don't have to have the biggest budget. Uh, if you've got players who are good and believe, believe they're good and believe they, wanna, they can win, and uh, you, you flat out you can win. They proved it. ASU is the oldest public university in the state of Georgia, and its golf students have a state-of-the-art facility in which they can work on the game. Throw in the two NCAA titles, and you can imagine how difficult it was for Gregory to leave. And he admits it was a wrench to turn his back on this place. It was very tough. I mean, I've always said it would take a special place for, for me to leave because you know, here college golf does mean something. It doesn't mean a lot at a lot of places, uh, uh, but get that opportunity to go back to my alma mater. I mean, that's special. I mean, they were the ones that gave me the education, the foundation for uh, for what I've done as, 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 as a coach, as a player. And um, You get that opportunity once in your lifetime when your alma mater calls and you get the chance to go back there and try to build a program that, that has had some success, but quite honestly not the success that it should. Gregory is a very good player in his own right, but after a brief stint as a pro where he traveled around the various mini tours, he realized that being a coach was his real calling. After spending two years as an assistant revitalizing the North Carolina state program, he signed on at ASU in 2002. I worked under a great coach, and Coach Richard Sykes, who was at NC State, and still is at NC State, and um, he taught me how to treat people, and, and he uh, you know, told me that you know, the, one of the greatest things about being a coach is you're a coach forever. Kids will pick up the phone 10, 15, 20 years down the road and still call you coach. And uh, I'm a very close relationship with, with my kids. Uh, I'm, I'm their friend as well as their coach, whether that's right or wrong, that's how I do things. And these kids, uh, you know, they, 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 whether they're international, whether they're American, obviously they're getting a great education, an education that's going to take them forever in life, but they, also, they all want to play the tour. And it's our job as coaches to give them every resource to get there. You know, we know how hard it is. Unfortunately, not, not many of them are going to make it. Um, but I'm never going to discourage a kid's dream to try to reach the BGA Tour. And it's my job to give them every, every opportunity possible to get there. Uh, it, it's very gratifying when you get a kid that is able to make it to the PGA Tour. But it's just as gratifying when you see a, a kid get married or has a family or, or he gets a great job. I mean, that, uh, there's no better feeling than being called a coach. The feeling of being a winner is also pretty special, and Coach Gregory is confident he can emulate his success at ASU. And with Southern Methodist based in Texas, a state that has a rich golf history, he's sure the building blocks he needs are there and hopes he can build a new dynasty. It's one of the best golf states in the country, the course, some of the best courses in the world, some of the best history in the world, some of the best players have come out of Texas. So I want SMU golf uh, to be a national contender each and every year. I want it to be like a, a Stanford, a UCLA, a, a Georgia Tech, uh, a Florida, uh, an Oklahoma State. One of those programs, when, when they tee up in the beginning of the year, they're going to say, hey, SMU is one of the top programs in, in, the, in the country, and that's that's my goal. Uh, winning national championship takes takes a lot of skill, it takes a lot of luck, it takes a lot of things to fall into place. Uh, but if we can be a national contender each and, each and every year, you know, and I think that can be done you know, in the next three to five years, and once we get there, that, that's my goal. You know, when, I, when I eventually retire from coaching, whenever that may, may be, I want to leave it in great hands. I want to leave it as, hey, this, this is my alma mater, this is my program that I helped build.